One of the biggest pockets of the market is the banking and the finance space, Vallabhbhai, and that's come under a lot of uh, constraints or concerns, if I may say so, as far as the asset quality is concerned, especially with public sector banks. Is that a problem, according to you? It's a two-way thing. Uh, just some time back, uh, one of our gurus uh, in, uh, from research was telling us that uh, the record of public sector banks to recover NPAs is not as bad as people perceive it to be. Mm -hmm. So through the restructuring and through the patient path, et cetera, they've generally been able to you know, convert the assets to fair assets. And at the same time, the pain that we have seen, the double pain of uh, the economic outlook not being good and the policy curve being way behind or policymakers being way behind the curve, the combination of that has created a serious difficulty. What is very heartening is that the government and the RBI have sent out a message to the businessmen that we mean business, you can't party at our cost, which is what has been the trend so far. If they become very serious about it, we have a very new environment. You have stressed assets and a regulator wanting to become very, very serious and correctly serious, whether we can handle it both. So we'll require excellent business environment for accidents not to happen. And therefore, I would be a little more cautious on BFSI and buy only into quality or when I've seen enough ground action. Otherwise, till then, I'll be very cautious. Given the valuations in some of the frontline FMCG or the so-called defensives, do you believe that somewhere we are in bubble territory there? They're way too rich? Uh, we forever. For the last 30, 40 years that I've been in the market, they always appear to be so. And uh, this is, you know, flight to quality. So it keeps happening. But the good thing about most of those companies is that if you continue to hold those stocks, you don't lose money badly. And so some of them may be bubble, some of them may not be bubble. Will infrastructure which again includes a large number of sectors, do you think that there the worst is over and it could recover this year? I think the worst is over clearly because everyone is making an effort to revive infrastructure. But the physical constraints and some of the other constraints are so large that it will take time for the ice to thaw out there. And uh, that's uniform opinion. I've spoken to a number of people, 12 to 18 months is what the most optimistic and aggressive guys also think. So in terms of sentiment, maybe the worst is over, but in terms of physical activity, one heartening thing in that sector is that uh, some of the most reluctant you know, asset shaders have also started shedding assets. And I think that's, that's the best part, because then once you shed your, you know, your attitude and you come to a new attitude, you have new dynamism, new methods. So I hope that uh, this 12, 18 months is shrunk somehow because our economy needs that. Hello and welcome to Market Media.